Namaste Pisces, so grateful you're here, giving you your reading uh, for the next few weeks. Uh, we will begin with an angel number message for you. Uh, you're getting 602. Uh, this is inspired thought, uh, so open up your mind. As you decide what to do next on your current journey, you, your angels encourage you to change up your mindset. Thinking differently opens up pathways to new perspectives. Uh, take up a creative pursuit, uh, draw, craft, uh, just open up your mind into um, some new inspired thoughts that come up. We'll get an oracle card for you and then we'll move into the tarot. I know that these are general messages, so uh, just take what resonates with you and leave the rest for everyone else. Hope all is well with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll just begin right away. Let's see what Oracle card you get today. And you're getting hope. Hope is always there. Even if you can't see it, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive situation. So you're getting hope. All right, well, let's move into your tarot card reading. Uh, part of me feels like uh, you're stopping yourself from doing something, like you're uh, what blocks your own energy in a way. Also, part of me feels like there has been an ending in which uh, you've learned lessons from, or you are learning lessons from. Alright, let's just see what the cards have to say for you. Hope all is well with you. Uh, we will do um, kind of your current energy right now, a challenge in your life. And then uh, we'll also get some advice from the universe in a little bit here. So your current energy is I feel like you need to release uh, negative thoughts, negative feelings. Um, at least the past, uh, so that you can move forward on to this new transformation that you're going through. Uh, you're getting the death card, which is all about uh, rebirth, transforming into uh, the better version of yourself. Uh, I feel like you feel like it's a little bit of a challenge for you right now. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. But you're definitely going towards this new cycle. I feel like a cycle is ending in your life and you are moving towards a new cycle which is uh, destined for you right now. Um, so yeah, uh, your challenge right now is the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this is like the beginning of uh, manifesting, uh, the beginning of like an offer when it comes to uh, being grounded in your life. Uh, for some of you, you might uh, be getting an offer when it comes to like work. For some of you, it feels like you're getting this offer when it comes to like a new part of your life, uh, but it's like you're refusing to accept this new change in your life. So. Yeah, in your recent past, uh, the death card is being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. There's a need to get out of this lack mindset right now. Uh, maybe think more positively about life. Maybe think more positively about the people in your life, positively about work. You're also getting the Three of Cups, which is all, all about socializing. Some of you might have been uh, socializing a lot lately, being with your soul family, um, but there is some lack mindset here, almost like you're, uh, you got your boundaries up when it comes to people in your life. But keep in mind that you are a persistent person, you are resilient, um, no matter what battles you have gone through in your life, I know that you are almost there. Now with your challenge, you are also getting the 
the High Priestess, uh, you're getting the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so there's definitely a need to assert yourself, not in an aggressive, not in an aggressive way or anything, um, but uh, just kind of stand up for what you believe in uh, when it comes to uh, your um, social circle, when it comes to people at work. Uh, you know, there's uh, some envious vibes here as well. Some people might just be poking their sticks at you, but you know, you kind of just got to find that uh, determination in your heart to just stand up for yourself and uh, not let those people bother you. You're getting the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Wands. Uh, so High Priestess, she's all about intuition. Um, so some of you might be very intuitive right at this time, so definitely trust your gut when it comes to certain situations, when it comes to people around you who are kind of just jealous that they can't be doing that, can't be doing what you are doing. Um, uh, don't let that bother you right now. Uh, I feel like you're at this King of Wands um, energy right now, or at least the universe is asking you to become this King of Wands where you are um, determined, you know, you gain respect, not by demanding it, but uh, by just doing you. Um, so there's a definite, definite need to just not let external factors affect you, and I feel like you um, will gain that respect as a nice positive leader. You're also getting uh, the Six of Wands at the bottom, which is you being recognized for your achievements um, and you just being in this confident um, energy here for what you have created for yourself. Uh, for your future, you do have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. You know, life is all about cycles, so I feel like you are entering this new cycle, which is destined for you, which has a lot of uh, serendipity involved. You know, being in the right spot at the right time. I feel like I do see you gaining your power back. All right, this flew in uh, in reverse. So part of you, for part of me, feels like uh, maybe some of you might be procrastinating. Maybe you're just um, kind of staying in this energy in which you're not able to make plans for the future. Or um, that might go for some of you. You're also getting this Emperor card, which is all about structure, being a structured leader. Um, so yeah, I feel like in this new cycle in your life, there's a need to have a practical plan for the future and come back into uh, your true powerful self. You're also getting this tower in reverse. Uh, you know, tower card could be... Uh, some people think it's very negative because it's uh, going through a huge sudden change in your life, uh, which can really cause a lot of um, discomfort in your life, but it's for the better and the universe is doing it for a reason for you. Uh, this tower is in reverse, so it gives me the feeling that you just... Uh, there's like a delay of some sort, like something's blocking you from really gaining the power of this Emperor card. Yeah, so I don't know if there's like been just a lot of sadness in your life or uh, there's an, uh, with the Five of Cups, you know, he's very, he's grieving that these cups have spilt over, but um, there's a need to find gratitude into your life uh, for what you have and knowing that what you have is enough and more uh, and to really just turn around and see that these two cups are still standing all right let's uh, see what message you have from the universe oh, part of, also part of me feels like some of you need to like 
give a pet some extra love or give your current pet some more love. I know that popped up. And also just uh, realizing your self-worth right now. There might be uh, some healing that needs to go on and um, really asking you why you do the things you do. All right, there's also a need uh, to, I don't know, release control from a certain situation. Alright, uh, all right, so for the first card you're getting, you're getting uh, confidence is the key to your success. Uh, you also are getting you and your loved ones are safe. So if uh, some of you have been wondering that, uh, know that you and your loved ones are safe at this time and there is a need to bring a lot of confidence back into your life. Uh, I feel like maybe things have uh, been down and out and there's a need to find that hope in your life and also a need to kind of get out of the cold and out of that lack mindset and um, be grateful for uh, what life is at this time. And also a need to show the world the real you. Alright, that is what I have for you for the rest of October and the rest of September. I'll probably see you soon. Uh, namaste. Thank you, Pisces.